guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I wanna talk about how long should your workouts be? Okay, so when I say workouts, I mean resistance training, okay? So I don't mean uh, practicing a martial art, like uh, you know, if you're doing judo, kung fu, boxing, wing chun, whatever. Usually those classes last about an hour and a half, two hours, you know? And uh, there's a lot of um, pause in between because you know, you're drilling, you're, you warm up a little bit, you do your drills, the instructor shows you technique and stuff like that. So you know, you're not constantly like uh, working out your muscles the whole time. So for resistance training, the answer is one hour, okay? After an hour, neural fatigue sets in, starts to set in, and that's a bad thing. Um, because if that happens, right, if you push too hard, it's gonna take you so much longer to recover. And that's not a good thing. You don't wanna burn out your nerves, you know? Um, if you guys look it up on Google, like there's like nerve fa neural fatigue, it's, it has a lot of, um, how do you say it, cons to it, so to speak. Okay, so the other thing is that first hour, that's your window where your body is in a anabolic mode. So that means it's in a building mode, you know, building your muscles, building this, building that, you know, whatever, right? But after an hour, it goes into the catabolic mode. Catabolic means it's breaking down shit now, you know, because you're going for too long. Your body's starting to break down stuff, you know? So you don't want to go into that catabolic uh, phase mode uh, either. So those are the two main things. And another thing is that, well, it saves you time, right? Like you, most people, most guys who are older, okay, have jobs, have families, uh, have businesses. And um, we don't have time to spend an hour and a half to two hours in the gym. Like uh, we just don't, right? So one hour is the maximum, okay? So if you could get it done in in let's say 30, 40 minutes and you're out, hey, you're, you're better off for it. Though I would recommend at least warming up and doing a little cool down. Warming up especially. The cool down, it's gonna benefit you if you're able to do it. I do about, uh, I do about five, well, sorry, I do about 10 minutes of uh, to warm up, okay? So I want you guys to warm up at least because you, know, you have to get the blood out to your joints and everything and all this synovial fluid, blah, 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 so that, you know, it's, um, everything just is all nice and oiled up. You're a nice oiled up machine, so less chances of you getting injured. Uh, and then after that, I used to never do this before, uh, after I finished my workout, but I, I never used to cool down, but now I do. And cooling down meaning that you're doing some kind of aerobic shit, okay, for about, at 50% capacity for about 10 minutes. Now, if you guys do a workout and you push really hard, you're gonna be sore the next day. Now, if you wanna avoid that soreness and recover faster, throw in 10 minutes of cool down if you have the time. You're gonna see it's gonna benefit you uh, a lot, a lot, much more I find than even just like fucking foam rolling and shit or stretching, you know? Like just fucking do 10 minutes of aerobics, you know? I like to go on the, um, what do you call that? The rowing machine, okay? no low impact you know i don't like like running is fine but you know impact right so da, da, da. i'll run sometimes but a lot of times i like using the rowing machine so i'll use that to cool down i'll do that for 10 minutes but it takes me an hour and i'm out but if you guys don't even have an hour at least warm up and then do your resistance training and then get the fuck out okay so remember this is more reason for you to keep the shit short because you don't want to have neural fatigue you don't want to go into the catabolic state and it saves you a lot of time, okay? So those are like the three uh, main benefits. Oh, the, two, the two reasons why you should keep it uh, maximum one hour and then a side benefit, well, you, 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 know, you save your time. So where am I getting all this information? Am I just making it up? Am I just pulling out of, out of my ass? No, I'm not. So I'll put a link down below and uh, the reference is, I got this from Dr. Michael Colgan. He wrote the book, The New Power Program, which was highly recommended by Faraz Sahabi. Faraz Sahabi is uh, GSP's coach, George St. Pierre's coach, very famous uh, MMA coach, very popular, very wise in my opinion also. And uh, he recommended this book in one of his videos and I bought it, I read it. <sighs> Amazing book. And also, I got my exam on uh, this Saturday, guys, for my personal training certificate that um, 
that I did. So the final exam, wish me luck for that. And so I'm gonna pass that, you know, hopefully. Well, hopefully. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna pass it, but wish me luck anyway. And that's it guys, so I'm a personal trainer. I'm, I'm gonna become a personal trainer and you know, I'm a martial artist too at the same time. So that's why I read so much about this stuff and it's, it's to improve my own performance and at the same time to help my uh, eventual clients that I'm gonna have in the gym and people that I'm going to train. So that's where I got the, uh, this whole one hour thing, okay? Uh, regarding uh, training, neural fatigue, uh, anabolic, catabolic uh, phase, and also the, well, that little side note there where I say that it saves you time, well, that's just me, you know, that comes from my own head and it's just my opinion. So what I'm gonna do moving forward is that when I say something, uh, I'm going to state, I'm gonna reference to where I got the information so you guys can go look it up if you decide. I find it's uh, it's much, so much more legit that way. And when it's my opinion, I'll say it's my opinion. That way there's no uh, misunderstanding or argument or whatever, you know? So that's it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, how you're gonna use this in your own life. If you have uh, contradicting information regarding, uh, you know, like the length of time uh, you should work out, then hey, put it down below, reference it, I'll definitely check it out, I'm here to learn. And you know, this book was uh, Michael Kogan, this is, uh, did I mention he was a PhD, research scientist and blah blah blah, really big name in the field. So like these, um, these informations that, that I go get tend to be, in my opinion, very legit, very high quality, like a very good source, you know, not just from you know, like some dude on the street. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.